All right. Well, I don't. I don't want you cooking up here, and I gotta. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring out more people. I think so. No, yeah. No, you should get rid of me. Give a hand for Annie. And do you need help getting down? All right. Now that she's gone, I can stand up. I got. Damn it, Dan. That's just. You, you trying to mock Annie by standing up the whole rest of the show? I don't know. I just feel like th- this is what I've always done. If somebody comes up, I sit down, and if somebody's not up here, I stand up. I don't know. <laughs> I thought maybe it would give me a little boost of energy because God knows that medicine won't kick in until midnight. It takes a while to kick in? Yeah. Do you, do you feel it like kicking in? Uh, not not these days, I no. can't take Adderall because when I do it, it's like doing just a bag of Coke. Like I, 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 I once took one at 7 p.m. and like I was wallpapering my apartment at 4 a.m. I got, I got shit to do. It's like cock a doodle do, motherfucker. If, you, if you've never taken it and you and you take that, that's the effect. Or if you don't take it for a really long time, then that's the that is the effect. And I believe I always assumed. Like that, if that if it's having that effect on you, that means you don't have ADD. Right. Um, Correct. Uh, but my uh, friend has ADD. She takes it, and her memory comes back. Right. And she, and she also goes to bed at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Yeah. But as I started taking it more, like like because I got a real prescription, so I was like, okay, now I'm taking it. I did. It did even out, and I did feel, as I said, like I felt like there were positive effects that had nothing to do with staying awake, and and you know Spencer's. Spencer's kind of convinced that I that I have ADD, but you know that's just coming from his expertise as a dungeon master. <laughs> Should we bring him out and talk to him about my ADD? Spencer Crittenden. T H D. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? That's good. Spencer, uh, what do you base your uh, your findings that Dan might have uh, ADHD or ADD? It's funny. I just like uh, was missing my cue. I almost didn't come in because I was just explaining to Demorge uh, the answer to this very question. <laughs> it's just, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but my little brother is really ADD. And apparently, I'm pretty ADD according to doctors and stuff. I don't know if anyone buys that, but... Um, so I mean, I my doctor know. was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. According to your doctor, we all have ADD. <laughs> but and, I've seen and glaucoma. I've uh, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my doctor. Though. Those are two totally different doctors. I'm yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I work with the guy. I see his uh, his behavior, his antics at work, and it's just it's very. Uh, to me, it just seems like a guy who has ADD. You know, no offense, Dan, you do great work, but uh, just your mannerisms, they seem very uh, yeah. deficit in terms of attention. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, uh, what, what do you, what do you what, what's your view of this season? Like, like, like do you have any, any uh, like, like, people are probably curious, like, what, what happened? Uh, you know, you're sitting, in, sitting there the whole time. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You have any interesting insights about about my work? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I I don't know. It's it's I I feel like people say it. It's just like it's it's all it's all coming from you. I mean, obviously the writers do uh, great work, but at the end of the day, uh, everything that is on screen is happened because of something in your brain, and uh, as such, you know, it's it's lame to give the other writers credit. <laughs> Uh, Spencer, <laughs> what is your day-to-day task at the show? Okay, so I get in. Usually Dan's still asleep, or he's ambiguously in his office poten- potentially asleep, so I don't want to bother him. And when what, what time of day are we talking? Uh, you know, anywhere from 7 a.m. to 9.30. Mm-hmm. It depends on, uh, you know, the night before. And uh, when I when I determine that he is, in fact, awake, I try and ask him what he, what he needs, what he needs, if he needs coffee or, or food or something. And uh, then I... I go do that, and uh, I sit around, and uh, I basically repeat that routine for, you know, the whole time. 
It's great. And other than that, I'm just sitting around and listening and observing. And are, are you in the writer's room while, while, while the... While the, while the not so much this season. It was, a, it was a hot office and there wasn't as many chairs. I, I would sit... My room is right outside the office and uh, the walls were like paper thin so I could hear everything <laughs> all, at all times. And uh, yeah. Do, do you feel like... Do you have ambitions to like write your own stuff and uh, like maybe have a show your, of your own? Yeah, definitely. I just uh, don't think I am like good at anything, so I, I don't know but how I could do it. Do you feel that like your time uh, listening through the walls of community m might have prepared you in some way? Like, have you learned stuff? Certainly, I think knowing how a writer's room works is a skill. I don't know if it's something that they're gonna like look at and be like, "Oh, we got to get this guy," but <laughs> I think that it's certainly something that does actually help because you have a you have an expectation and you kind of understand the packing order and just the the workflow and how things go. So, I mean, I think it's it's valuable for that reason. Also, you know, you learn you learn about writing. Are you writing your own stuff? No. <laughs> I've written a couple things, but I, I, I got off the wagon. I got to start. I gotta are start. you one of those types? Because I'm not. Like, I have friends that are writers, and the reason why I'm not a stand-up or a writer is because I don't, I don't think of comedy in terms of jokes. Like, like stand-up friends of mine, they get up and they write jokes, and they, they want to get up and do material. And writers wake up in the morning and go, I have, a, I want to, I have to make a show about a guy that does a, this thing or a girl that does this thing. I, I don't think in terms of ideas like that. Are you one of those people? Like, do, you, do you think of premises? Premises? I think of ideas in terms of like traps and monsters usually. <laughs> so it's it's kind of it takes some creative work to turn that into like a script or a joke. Are, 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 are you a, are you a story kind of guy? Like I mean, obviously we know that you're good at like character and and uh, like character development and creation and certainly trap development. I I guess you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you'd say I'm more of a world builder in all honesty. Like, I'll think about things, and then it's like, oh, yeah, and the pizza story goes at it, uh, it has this guy, and he, you know, has a mom that he's paying for cancer or something. Why does he pay for cancer? <laughs> um, <laughs> other people get it for free. But, uh,. <laughs> no, but so, just, you know, it's world really, building. It's really throwing your money away. <laughs> <laughs> but so that's that's usually how my mind goes. I, I would I could see you like writing a show because you're very gifted, but I could also see you having like, you know, there's these MythBuster guys. You know, like they, 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 I like that show. I watch MythBusters, but I, you, I, I would watch a show where Spencer like is busting traps, or I don't know, like a... <laughs> testing traps, trap busters. <laughs> Trap just trying to thwart trap adventurers. Sensors. Trap sensors. Oh, it man. would be interesting to have a show just to, you know, like 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 kind of a I don't know how you do it without hurting people, but like the idea of like like just traps, like people traps, like like like, <laughs> like, like, like like I don't know, just doing weird shit to people. Well, it's I, I, the I, new I, challenge room. I, you know, I, I, I would say this, Dan. If you were going to make that show, if you were the head of a network and you came to me, the, the junior head of the network, and said, "Is there a way to do a show without hurting people or there's traps?" <laughs> And people are trying to evade traps. And maybe some people get caught in traps. I would say, well, the first thing I know is we got to get Spencer Crittenden on this thing. Yeah. 